Today we're going to show you a fix for this common bumper issue found on the 2015 through 2017 Mustang. If you've been around the S550 Mustang long enough, you have seen this bumper issue happen at some point in time. And what happens, you take your bumper off a lot when you're working on your car, whether it be a splitter, intercooler, headlights, whatever, install new grills. These clips are very fragile. Once these clips break, you're not gonna get the bumper back on properly. I've seen people try to glue them, nothing is going to work. So basically, you got a couple options at that point. Option one is replace your bumper. Whole new bumper, paint and everything, it's gonna run you over $1,000 probably to fix it. Option two, is these quick latches, and today we're gonna show you how to install them. These quick latch kits are made here in the USA and include two of these mini one inch latches. The way these are gonna work is basically this pin will go behind the bumper and this will go on the outside. Kind of gives it more of a race kind of look to me. I don't think they look bad on the car at all. They're available in your choice of either a black or a polished finish. For this installation, they did a quarter inch ratchet, 7 16th socket, 8 millimeter socket, 7 8 socket, 7 millimeter wrench. 7 16th wrench, small flathead screwdriver, drill, three quarter inch step drill bit, pilot bit, and safety glasses. Now we have our 2015 GT up on the lift with the wheel off. I can tell you, taking the wheel off will make it a lot easier. It is not necessary to do so though. You can actually turn the wheel. There is enough room to work, but definitely for us to show you how to do the process, we're gonna move as much as possible to make it easier to see. So the wheel off, the first thing we're gonna do is go here in the splash shield and remove some of these clips. Now, even if your bumper is still somewhat attached, there's that little seven millimeter screw you have to remove right up here to separate it. I'll pull apart and as you can see, ours is pretty much completely broken off. We're gonna need to pull the bumper away and hold it for now so we can do some work behind there. Now, if you wanna remove some of the screws up top here, give you a little more flex you can, there's plenty of flex in the bumper. What you usually do is you get an old towel, just fold it up, stick it up there between the headlight and the bumper, and that'll hold that enough that we can work behind there. Now this is the factory bracket that holds that clip on. Now I have seen some installs online where people have removed this, but it's actually best to keep this because it acts as an additional support for our quick latch. What we're gonna do now so we can modify this is remove these two eight millimeter screws and take it off the car. The bracket out of the way, you can see this little square hole here. It's almost like Ford built this for us because this is exactly where the pin for the quick latch is gonna go. So there's no drilling necessary. We're gonna put the pin in there and then start the adjustment process. Put a nut and a washer on one side. Put it through that opening. Put a nut and washer on the other side. What I like to do there is basically just center it between those two clips. And to get the quick latch installed properly, we're gonna have to make several different sets of adjustments. The first thing we do is a preliminary adjustment here is to get it that it's touching, just barely touching the back of the bumper when the bumper is seated where we want it. So what we're gonna do now, put the bumper back into place as best you can anyway. You basically want it to be touching the latch and my guess was actually pretty close. We're gonna bump that out just a hair. All right, so now we have the depth of our stud approximately where we want it. Now, again, there's gonna be room for adjustment later. But you wanna make sure it's lined up somewhat properly. Now here, what you wanna do is get the bumper where you want it. Now I don't suggest having it touching the fender because it's still going to move. So give yourself again, a small gap like the factory would. Now what we're gonna do, when we have that right, is push it in as hard as possible. It's gonna create a little dimple on the outside of the bumper. That's where we're gonna drill our hole. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna start with a pilot bit and kind of work my way up, and then we're gonna use a step bit to get to our three quarter inch hole. We wanna start basically with a small pilot right in the center. At this point, we're gonna err on the side of caution. 
You can put it right back where you want it, and you should see it right in the middle there poking through. Open it up a little bit more. Well, you can see that on camera, but if you look, you can see right in the center of where our hole is, we can see our stud. Now, since we're going with a much bigger hole, I'm gonna put some tape over this here. Hole drilled and pull our tape off. Install our quick latch. Should be a pretty tight fit, but it'll pop into place. And then install a retaining nut on the back. Grab socket and just tighten it by hand. Okay, now we can check our fitment. Okay, now it locked into place here. Now it is a little further in than I had wanted, but again, we will make further adjustments later. But now we know it works. We can modify the factory bracket and then make final adjustments. We want to install this original bracket because it does provide some support to the bumper and make it line up a lot nicer. And what we have to do is make sure you maintain these two openings with these two holes because this is what bolts it on. But the center section is going to have to be basically cut out to clear our stud. So what you're just doing, just clip this off the back and use the step drill to go through the middle or a grinder, whatever you want, and open it up. All right, once you have that drilled out, you wanna make sure when you put it back into place here that you can get a socket on the nut for the stud. If you can, reinstall the original hardware and bolt it back on. All right, now with that piece on, again, if you have anything remaining of your original piece, you can use it for alignment. Should pop in, lock in just like that. Double check that you have all your measurements right. Make sure this is tucked exactly where you want it to be. Ours is actually nice and straight. It came out perfect. And what you wanna do here, we are gonna go back and we're gonna put some Loctite on everything to make sure it doesn't move. Before you do that, repeat the process on the other side, just to make sure the bumper movement is exactly where you want it. And then we'll go back and Loctite everything. And again, we're ready to go back through with the other side finish, put thread lock on all our bolts. Again, here you will lose the adjustment that you made. Suggest doing is basically do the thread lock on one side at a time. And while before it dries, make sure every adjustment's where you want it. Put your splash shield back together and your installation is finished. The Quick Latch Bumper Repair Kit now has the bumper mounted firmly on the side of our S550 Mustang. Personally, I actually think they look pretty cool, but they're also subtle enough that if you're not a big fan of the look, it's still a lot better than buying a whole new bumper. As far as the installation goes, I would give yourself about an hour per side and be back on the road in no time. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you click on the CJ button so you subscribe for future videos and click the corner up here for more videos for your Mustang.